Welcome back to tutorial 2B, Hello Intensified on Reaper. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about item and track pan and volume envelope to adjust level and panning. Uh, we are going to take the same session as Thomas has been using in tutorial 2A, and we're going to have a look at how this all looks. Um, as I see here, we have a track, and if I press V, you will see a dark track below, which says volume. V is the shortcut for volume. This uh, envelope, this line here, is called the envelope. That is uh, describing how loud things will be played back. And actually we can move it around with a fader. Well, that's part of the fun, but uh, the biggest fun is that you can put points in it. You can shift, click here, and it will make a point. And now you can use this point to move this around. You can make a second point over here, shift, click, make a point. And now what we had actually have done is made a fade in. We could also have done this on the track, of course, like this. But uh, the envelope also gives us the opportunity to make some more points and make adjustments. So we make a little curve here, and if we now play it back, you can hear its influence. Instead of working on the track envelope, we can also work at the volume right here in the item. Context menu is our friend here. We can right click and then we can see under the item take which is showing this take envelopes and we can look at the take volume envelope here so what this does is it draws a line inside of the clip so independent of the line below and also in this line we can insert an envelope or in other words what we call automation automation is very practical because you can like push something forward or pull something backwards in the mix as you need it if we are not sat satisfied with how it actually works we can always do command z and redo this and if we don't like it at all we can just say lose the automation here you can option click on this little symbol here which stands for the automation and then it's out again how do we move this well if we have only one point we can just select it and move it around but we can also select more points and move them around so we can have an all whole area if I select these four points and I think oh, I want to get rid of this part I can just give it a backspace and they will all be gone and if I just want to move this proportionally I can opt shift and have this part of the envelope moved if I just want to push something forward or instantly pu pull something backward that's an option i can also select a little bit of time and command shift here which will actually also make the points which were not there already it's sort of similar to the movement we make here we can select all the points here we can move around the envelope points with opt period oh. or opt comma 
I love it. Volume is not the only thing we can control, of course. Envelopes will become more and more important. Let us get rid of this envelope for the moment. We'll hide it and we'll take a mono file, which is here. Uh, we also have namely the panning and panning is something which we mainly use for mono files because mono files um, are usually if you play them back like this they sound exactly in the middle in a normal stereo setup and we can influence the directivity of where the sound seems to appear from and we do that with the pen button the pen button can go from 100% left here over here to 100% right and this is something we are will be using a lot especially using it with foley's by convention if you double click on any parameter it will go to its default position volume is not the only thing that we can automate here that's actually what envelopes are doing they are automating a parameter but we can also automate the panning and to demonstrate that I'll go to a mono channel which we have here the spirits of the dead I highlight all the clips here just to make it clear and for the occasion we'll solo this that you would need to do a lot for instance with foley's for instance with voices of people walking by um, maybe not so much for a voice over which would be mainly like center or whatever uh, music can go somewhere atmos atmos can have ambience ambient sound can go like basically anywhere where you want it uh, so that's going to be used a lot and to demonstrate the works of it on a mono file which we have here and we have this knob here pen which is now in center position that means that it is equally loud on both channels of the stereo signal we can change that of course otherwise we wouldn't have a knob and we can pan it to the left or pan it 100 percent to the right uh, how do we reach the pan parameter well p and i mean the key here which will show us the envelope line and as you can see we can move the panning around and the pen pot will change accordingly so also here we can make some points and i'll just out of sheer joy i'll exaggerate it a little bit to show the effect thy soul shall we play find it back now alone mid dark thoughts of the gray tombstone not one of all the crowd to pry into thine hour of secrecy and maybe you would wonder now what is actually the difference if i do it on a track which we are doing now or that we would be doing it in an item so i'll demonstrate the same way as we have seen before we can do a take pen envelope and we can as you can see it's been put onto this item and also here we can make some points there this way if you work on an item it is easy to make a copy of it so if you have done all the work on how you want this to appear this little bit of sound you can just copy and all the automation is copied with it automatically apart from that you can overrule this with the track envelopes you say okay i want this whole bit moved a little bit to the left instead of the first item we had which was here which was staying in the middle so we can shift it the whole thing a little bit to the left or to the right or make it a little bit loud less loud at this point as it's going to be in the next take whatever will serve your need if we have a bit of time selected here in which we think okay well this move on the volume was really nice we can select this envelope track select the time and basically just copy this if we think it could be nice to have it here as well so also that is just like the normal cut copy paste shortcuts for your os
There's also the possibility to make some adjustments by hand, which you can just like draw some points in here and it will easily get adjusted. If you basically want to have one of the points disappear, Alt is your friend here to make things disappear. You can see that these points are all leaving at the moment. What is maybe also good to know is that all these points have a time and a value. And if you want to be sure that these are the same everywhere, or if you make an adjustment somewhere and you want to make sure that the adjustment is the same here, which for this line apparently is not. This point is at minus 40.8 dB and this one at minus 15.6. You could click on this point and set the point value to minus 14.3, I think it was, 8. The other three, and this is expect exactly spot on if you need it. Okay. This was more or less what we are going to do in this tutorial. Our next tutorial will handle about folders and some basic routing. You can route signals from one channel to another, as we shall see in the next tutorial to C. Thanks.